Good afternoon, everyone. Molly Spangler here coming to you from my office. I'm so glad to be back at Shandon in my office and with all of you. After a wonderful maternity leave, it is good to be here again. Welcome to our Shandon on Wednesday check-in. There is a lot going on in the life of our community, and I would like to share a lot of wonderful good news with you. First, the session last night received three new members, Drusilla Brookshire and Garrett and Jordan Humphreys. We welcome them and their gifts to our community, and I hope that you will find time in the next few days and weeks to reach out and to welcome them yourself. This upcoming Sunday, we will have a special moment of recognition for Scott Barnes. Scott will be named Ambassador Emeritus for all of the wonderful gifts and ways of hospitality that he has showed with us and shared with us over the many years that he has served here at Shandon among us. We hope that you will join us for worship and for this special celebration of Scott. This weekend, there is also a community food drive going on. Our outreach committee invites all of us to help fill a whole truck with donations for Harvest Hope Food Bank. Stop by our parking lot this Saturday from 10 to 4 or Sunday from 9 to 1 and bring non-perishable items to fill the truck. There will be a classic Chevy pickup right out front and you can bring your food items there. We hope to see you this weekend. Also very important, if you have received an email that says Realm on it, that's not spam, it's from us. Realm is our new online system here at Shandon and it allows you to give online among other things. So if you have received an email invitation to join Realm, don't hesitate, go ahead and sign up. That way you can continue or begin to give online. Email invitations are still being sent out, so if you haven't seen one yet, don't panic, it's coming. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us here at, at the church and we will talk you through it. And last reminder, October 2nd is the deadline to vote. Peacemaking is encouraging all of us to let our voices be heard, so don't forget to register. Your voice matters. As we go about our week, we want to remind you to continue to keep those in our prayers that are shared on our prayer list, and I have a few updates this week. First, we have a joy to celebrate. Kathleen Hunt has come home from the hospital. Kathleen is Leah and Alston Gore's granddaughter. She is home and resting, and we continue to pray for healing and recovering for her. We are saddened this week at the news of Betty Lilly passing. Betty passed away on September 11th, and she is the mother of Dodie Cheesum. So please keep Dodie and Paul and their entire family in your prayers in the days and weeks to come. We also want to lift up Spencer Tinman and his family at the loss of his grandmother, Dorothy May Collins. Dorothy passed away on Monday, September 14th, so please keep Spencer and all of his family in your thoughts. Also, in the days and weeks to come, we ask that you continue to pray for all in our Shandon family who are being affected by the coronavirus. It is something that is touching many lives, and so we ask that you continue to pray for healing and support um, for our community. Again, I hope that this message finds you all well. It is so good to be with you all, and I hope that we see each other in the days and weeks to come. Have a wonderful evening, and peace be with all of you. Good night.